In this video, we will discuss the new enhancements included in the new eTabs version 21.00. Here are the new items that have been included in eTabs. Detailing of concrete and steel structures, as well as the production and management of schematic design drawings is now available inside the program, as well as detailed reinforcement from beams, slabs, column stacks, and wall stacks can now be exported directly from eTabs into Autodesk Revit through the CSI Cross Revit 2023 plugin. We've also included tributary PT tendons are now accounted for in finite element design, slabs and crack slab deflection. We've added some new loading features in eTabs, including auto wind load and auto seismic load, as well as response spectrum function based on NBCC 2020, as well as ASCE 722. Added a couple design codes as well, AS4100 2020 steel frame design, as well as Eurocode for 2004 composite column design has been added. A couple output and display features, crack section modifiers for beams and floors are now included, as well as nonlinear shear material state and status output for general wall hinges are available in the database tables as well. Okay, let's get started. Here's the model we'll be working with today. It contains beams, columns, slabs, as well as a wall stack. To access the detailer, you need to make sure the analysis and design for the beams, slabs, and wall stacks have been run prior to starting the detailing process. Under the detailing menu, you can click on concrete detailing, and one at a time, you'll have to run the beam detailing, slab detailing, as well as column stack and or wall stack. Once that is done, you can go ahead and click on Show Edit Beam Detailing. It will ask you the floor to select for detailing display. Here is the Detailing Explorer. It displays the rebar details with the functionality to edit and view the rebar detailing. If I click on Individual Beams, you can see the different items that are included, including supports, which enables the user to check, modify, and provide rebar, Spans, this node enables the user to check, modify, provided rebar for the longitudinal bars. And lastly, sections enables to view the, and modify the section cut in the respective model. So if we take a look at top bar A, I'm gonna zoom in here a little bit. You can see the selected support has been highlighted in red. And if I zoom in to top bar A, I can make changes in this detailing explorer. If I wanted to change the bar size, I can simply do so. And it updates automatically, as well as the number of bars can be changed as well. Next, let's take a look at some slab detailing. We'll select detailing, concrete detailing, show slab detailing. Just as before, we'll select the story associated with the slab design. And we'll take a look at the detailing editor. So this time for slab details, it's useful for editing of rebars, viewing rebar quantities, editing labels. And if we expand these nodes, you can see you can open such as rebar and strips, as well as similar rebars. The section is very interactive as the user can see the changes being made instantly in the detailing view. So if I click on rebar and strips and select a specific strip, I can right click and edit the slab rebars. If I zoom in here a little bit, we can take a look at the top and bottom bars in this specific strip. And if I move this up a little bit, you can see the associated bar size and spacing that is completely editable in this table. This is for CSAI1 strip, and you can see uh, support one, span one, support two as we move across the strip to the right. I can make changes to the rebar instantaneously. Bar size as well as spacing gets updated automatically. And this is the information for the longitudinal bars that are being shown here on the right hand side. On the right hand side of the screen, you can see the strip label, 
the geometry, as well as the quantities. There are a few different viewing options as well. If I scroll down, we can take a look at slab views. We can take a different look at slab objects. You can see the layout plan, plan top bars, as well as bottom bars or all bars can be shown on the view as well. And for specific rebar profiles for the different strip directions can be viewed as well. Now let's take a look at wall stack detailing. Your detailing, concrete detailing, show edit wall stack. Here's the wall stack detailing editor, useful for editing vertical, horizontal, boundary and confinement wall rebars, editing spandrel rebars, viewing rebar quantities and editing labels. So if we take a look at a specific section, gear sections, piers, and you can see this wall stack has three sides and we can click on each one of them individually to edit or make changes to the general reinforcement, vertical, horizontal, as well as the boundary zone reinforcement can be changed automatically here on the fly. There are a few different wall views that can be shown. Here's an elevation showing all of the rebar itself and you can see sections have been cut. Lastly, let's take a look at column stacks. Similar functionality here for column stacks as well. Any changes can be made to the column rebar using the detailing editor as shown right down here. Corner bars, edge bars, number of bars along both axes can be updated on the fly. Different column views, full elevation. Next, let's take a look at how this model can be exported directly into Revit. Ensuring the analysis, design, and all detailing have been run. We can go to File, Export, Revit Structure EXR file. So now it's generating an EXR file that can be imported directly into Revit. Now, if we open Revit, once CSI Cross Revit 2023 has been installed, under the Add-ins menu, External Tools, you'll notice that these four options are available. We'll be using the import to create a new Revit project from eTabs here today. We'll select the file name, and you'll notice this dialog box pops up, the import from eTabs to create a Revit project. It allows the user to pick and choose the exact items they wish to have imported into Revit. In this case, columns, structural framing, floors, and walls all will be imported. Okay, the data transfer is complete. Now we can take a look at what was imported. Because we had run the detailing in eTabs, all of the detailing information for all the components have been brought in. Let's take a look at it. Take a look at view, 3D view, default 3D view. And if we zoom in a little bit, you can see the beam and column detailing as well as the wall stacks, all this information has been brought in. Now you'll notice I, the design for the fourth floor was only run for floor design. So that's why that rebar just came in for the top floor. So this is a new feature that has been included in eTabs version 21. Next, for this model, we'll take a look at the tributary PT tendons that are now accounted for in finite element based design of slabs. Here we have a simple model that contains uh, PT tendons. And right click on the tendons to make sure that everything is included here. So once we run the analysis and design, to view the design, we'll go to design, concrete slab design, 
Display Flexural Design. So now the updates have been made using the finite element base design. We'll select the stress direction and location. We'll take a look at DC ratio contours and select a specific display type. In this image, you can see the PT tendons are now accounted for in finite element base design. We've added a couple new codes for the auto wind, auto seismic, and response spectrum function based on NBCC 2020 and ASCE 722. Let me show you where those are located. If we click on Divine, Load Patterns, under the load type, if we select Seismic, here are the list of codes that are now included. You can see NBCC 2020 is now on the list as well as ASCE 722. We add this load, modify lateral load. You'll see you have the ability to update the direction and eccentricity, time period story range, as well as the new parameters for this specific code. If we change to NBCC 2020, modify load and modify lateral load, you can see these updated parameters are now included in here as well. To find the response spectrum function, we'll go to define, functions, response spectrum, and in this list you'll see those two codes in here as well, ASCE 722 as well as NBCC 2020. A couple new design codes have been added as well. So under the design, steel frame design, under view revised preferences, under this pull down menu, you will see all the different steel codes which are available to the user. You can see the AS4100 2020 steel frame design has now been added. As well, as for composite column design, you can see the Euro code for 2004 code has now been added here in eTabs as well. Please go to our website, csiamerica.com, for more information.